after a week-long tirade on Twitter. President Trump last night finally decided to speak with words to an actual human being about the rumors <laughs> of Russian collusion. Well, I mean, I say human being, but it was actually conservative pastor and Jeff Sessions' troll cousin, <laughs> Pat Robertson. In contradiction to his son's own emails, President Trump said Vladimir Putin wanted Hillary Clinton, not him, to win the 2016 election. If Hillary had won, our military would be decimated. Mm -hmm. uh, our energy would be much more expensive. That's what Putin doesn't like about me. Here we go again. <laughs> Hillary is behind everything that's going wrong. Trump is like political Hodor. <laughs> Hillary! Hillary! <laughs> Hillary! <laughs> Hillary! <laughs> so, so let's just get this straight. The new conspiracy theory is that Putin actually wanted Hillary to win. And that's why he colluded with Donald Trump Jr. <laughs> you know, like, there's no problem. President Trump can't blame on Hillary. He'll be in bed like, I can't believe Hillary couldn't get it up tonight. <laughs> Lock her up. <laughs> so the two men were chatting. And just by the way, that, that picture is so creepy. Doesn't it look like Trump's talking to himself in 100 years? Look at that. <laughs> And, and you know what, I know I'll sound crazy for saying this, but I think that Trump should only communicate on Twitter. Because at least there, his characters are limited. In real life, the crazy has no end. The president said he asked Putin about Russian hacking to influence the 2016 election. Quote, I said, did you do it? And he said, no, I did not. I then asked him a second time in a totally different way. He said, absolutely not. Well, I'm sold. I'm sold. I'm sold. <laughs> All right, for, for the record, Vladimir Putin, he wasn't just a master KGB agent for 16 years and one of the Soviet Union's top spies in Berlin. Like, but Trump knew, Trump knew that he could break Putin <laughs> by simply asking him the same question <laughs> twice. <laughs> that was his plan. <laughs> the same question twice, but, but, but in a totally different way. <laughs> Trump was like, did you do it? <laughs> no, I did not. <laughs> okay, that works for me. <laughs> but did you? <laughs> Still no. Now, as we speak, President Trump is in France celebrating Bastille Day with French President Emmanuel Macron, who uh, declared war on Trump by making him go to a museum with him. And President Trump <laughs> retaliated by hitting on the French First Lady in full view of everyone. Something happened with President Trump, comments he made that have now been posted on the Facebook page, I'm told, of President Macron. Let's listen. <laughs> Donald J. Trump does not give a f in front of his own wife. He's like, damn, girl. <laughs> you want some of this baguette? 